Hey guys, it's Frank from PBH, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to an oil pressure sender adapter that works on all three generations of the Coyote engine. Check it out. So when it comes to the Coyote engines, everyone has to deal with the oil pressure senders. Now, for the most part, your Gen 1 and Gen 2 engines really don't need the factory sender in place, but a lot of folks choose to keep them in there and leave them plugged in. There's nothing wrong with doing that. When we get to Generation 3, the rules kind of change. We got to keep the oil pressure sender in place and the control solenoid. Now the control solenoid could probably be dummied out using a 100 ohm resistor, but the sender itself needs to stay in play. So it's vital that you keep that installed getting proper oil pressure signal and plugged into the factory harness. Now the trick is coming up with a solution that'll work with all three generations. Now generation one and two, they use a quarter inch MPT thread. Generation three, move to an M12-150. So naturally coming up with one solution for all three generations was gonna be something we didn't see in the aftermarket already. So we got hard to work coming up with a solution that will allow us to get everyone taken care of under one part number. And we came up with it. Here it is right here. This guy right here will work with all three generations of the Coyote engine and supply additional ports for aftermarket senders, for temperature, for pressure, and even oil supply for superchargers and turbos. Now in a second, I'm gonna go through all the different variations of the assembly of this oil pressure sender adapter but before we do that i want to also mention that this isn't just for coyote swaps if you have an 11 and up car an f100 f150 anything along those lines and you need oil supply for additional gauges or for superchargers and turbochargers this guy right here will work for you as well so don't think of this as just a coyote swap part it's a coyote part it'll work on any coyote engine in any application so next in the video, we're gonna show you how to assemble it for generation one and two, separately then generation three, and how you can also add on some elbows that'll help you get this situated even with a remote oil filter adapter. Okay guys, what you see in front of you is the two oil pressure centers that Ford has used on the Coyote engines from 11 to current production. On this one in particular, this is what you find in your generation one and two Mustang and F-150 Coyote engine. This guy right here is typically what you find in your Generation 3 Mustang and F-150 Coyote engine. The only time we've seen a variant to that is some of the Generation 2 F-150 engines have been found to have this sender in particular, which is an issue because most of the oil pressure sender adapters that are out there are designed for this thread. Now this guy, Generation 1 and 2, this is quarter inch MPT, uses Teflon sealant or thread sealant to seal it to the block or to the adapter. And then this guy here in particular is metric, M12 by 1.5 and has an O-ring to seal it. Naturally, if you have an adapter for your generation one, generation two, it's not gonna work with this guy, which is what brought us to this new design that we came out with. This is the PVH oil pressure sender adapter. And as you can see, it's got two components. It's got a threaded stud and a hex spacer. Now this threaded stud it has both quarter inch MPT and the M12 1.5. As you can see, it's got the O-ring on it. That's gonna be important for the assembly moving forward. The hex aluminum spacer, well this guy here has two eighth inch MPT ports, and then it's got a non-chamfered pipe thread side here, and then it is side here in particular, this is your metric side. As you can see, it's got that chamfer. It's almost like a funnel or a taper to it. That is where the O-ring is gonna seal. So it's very important to know the difference between the two because as you go to assemble it, if you don't get this right, you're gonna have one hell of a leak on your hands. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to assemble this for a generation one sender. Now remember, we have quarter inch MPT on the threads of the sender. So what we have to do is end up with quarter inch MPT on the block side of the adapter. Now we're gonna take a look at this here in particular. This has the chamfered end. So that means that the O-ring is gonna go into it. So we're gonna thread this adapter 
into the hex spacer and it's going to seal right up. Once we have that done, we can go ahead and attach our sender. Now this is our factory Ford sender. This isn't an aftermarket one. The aftermarket units, they're going to have the option to go into either of the two 8th inch MPT ports that we supply. Now we do give you one plug, one cap basically. If you're only going to be putting an additional sender in, you can leave that in place, tighten it up and be good to go. But in the case that you're going to be running both pressure, maybe a temperature sender, or maybe need an oil pressure source for a turbocharger, or maybe even a supercharger, you can use this port for that as well. But that is essentially a generation one assembly. Quarter inch MPT going into the engine side of the adapter, and then the quarter inch MPT style gen one factory sender into the hex spacer. This here will take care of adding any additional senders or gauge senders, oil pressure sources, along with keeping your factory oil pressure sender in play. Okay guys, so on your screen is going to be a Mustang style generation one and two oil cooler assembly and oil filter adapter. Now we left the oil cooler in place because traditionally this is an obstruction and we want to show that the new assembly from PBH with the adapter really isn't going to take up that much room. So we left it in place for this example. Typically you'd have an oil filter here. So this is your factory oil pressure sender on the housing. What we're going to do is remove this guy here. And once we have that removed, we have our quarter inch MPT assembly already put together to speed things up. And with some Teflon or excuse me, some thread sealant, you would just thread it right into the housing and tighten it up. Once it's installed, you can see there's plenty of clearance to the other components. It's not even obstructing any of the bolts or the hardware if you needed to get to it. And it'll work perfectly for any generation Coyote. Again, our oil pressure sender adapter will work on all Gen, Gen 3, Gen 2, and Gen 1. Okay guys, so what you see in front of you here is our Generation 3 oil pressure sender. Now in Generation 3, you have to keep these in the engine or else you're going to have some RPM issues, some limitations. So it's important that we get this back on the engine for sure in Generation 3. You're also going to find these on select Gen 2 F-150 engines as well. We have our hex spacer that's part of the PBH adapter along with our stud. And what I've done is I assembled them in the orientation that we're going to assemble it. So obviously, if this is our block mounted oil pressure sender from the factory it's got our m12 by 1.5 thread and oil o-ring seal we're going to have the same thing on the block side of our adapter so our quarter inch mpt is going to go into the quarter inch mpt port on the hex adapter and with some teflon or thread sealant you're going to thread that in there and tighten it up once you have that done you're going to grab your oil pressure sender and put it into the chamfered end of the hex spacer once that's tightened up and sealed, this is what your assembly is going to look like. O-ring seal with M12-150 going into the block side of the adapter, going into the engine, and then the sensor going into the corresponding M12-150 thread and chamfered end of the hex spacer. You're also still going to have your 8th inch MPT ports for any additional aftermarket senders for gauges or if you want to add oiling to any type of turbocharger or supercharger. This is the PBH oil pressure sender adapter for generation three. All right, so what you see in front of you here is an example of a remote oil filter adapter for a Coyote engine. This one in particular is from Canton Racing. This is a used unit we took off an engine. These can actually be used on a lot of different generation Coyotes, uh, but if you're using a Ford Racing one, any of them, typically all of them have a quarter inch MPT port for your oil pressure sender. Now, easy enough, we have everything we need to go ahead and put it together. The issue is when these are mounted to the engine, they're usually pretty tight to the engine and pretty close to your headers. So we need to angle the sender in a different direction to make sure that we don't have collision with any additional issues or any additional components. So we also offer two adapters. And one of them is going to be specific for generation one and two. The other one's going to be specific to generation three. So let's take a look at generation one and two first. That's this guy right here, male to female. And what's going to happen is since it's quarter inch MPT, you would put some thread sealer on here and you're going to thread it into the block adapter. Now, again, this is pretty universal. It doesn't have to be Canton only, but you can definitely use it on any of them. Once we have that done, we'll have our quarter inch MPT port here. 
since we're going to be doing our generation one, we're going to thread in with the quarter inch MPT adapter in place and thread that baby right in there with some thread sealant. Once that done, well, that's done, we can grab our generation one and two sender. And again, with some thread sealer, tighten it up and put it into place. And once that's installed, you're gonna have it aimed in any direction you like, sealed up, and you'll still have the additional eighth inch MPT ports for any of your gauge senders or oil supply for superchargers and turbochargers. Really easy solution to an issue. It's a one-stop shop for anything you're doing oil pressure sender wise for a Coyote engine. So now let's take a look at what we would do if we had a generation three, because it is a little bit different. So we're gonna take this bad boy off and we're gonna grab our mail to mail adapter. Now these are sold separately. So when you go to place your order on our website or if you're on the phone with us, make sure you specify which one you're doing and if you have an oil relocation already on the engine itself. So this guy's gonna be quarter inch MPT to quarter inch MPT on both sides. And again, you're gonna be using some thread sealant on the threads to go ahead and seal it up. But once you have that in place and you have it aimed in the direction you need for additional clearance, you're gonna grab your oil pressure sender adapter and with the quarter inch MPT side, you're gonna thread that onto the 90. Once you have that threaded onto the 90, you can go ahead and grab your Gen 3 sender and thread it into the chamfered side of the assembly. And there you go. Now you have your Gen 3 sender on your oil pressure reload, or excuse me, your oil filter relocation block angled away from your exhaust, angled away from anything else that might be an obstruction and giving you everything you need to continue to run the engine properly. With the factory sender, you don't even have to extend the wires or mess with the connector when you do this. And you have two additional eighth inch MPT ports to go ahead and get any additional senders for gauges or oil feed for superchargers and turbochargers done as well. So this here, that's Gen 3. The PBH Coyote oil pressure sender adapter is part number ACC 1200 in our catalog. And it retails for $45.99. It's made here in the USA and it comes with threaded adapter the hex, and the 8th inch MPT plug. Everything you need to set up your factory oil pressure sender along with additional gauge senders or even supply to a supercharger or turbo for any generation Coyote engine. Thank you for watching us here on YouTube and if you have any questions about this product, make sure you visit our website, pbhperformance.com. You can search ACC 1200 in the search tab. You can also call us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 Eastern, 561-737-2331. You can email us, info at pbhperformance.com. You can follow us on social media between Facebook and Instagram. If you have any of our products on your car and you're posting about it, make sure you tag us in those posts or use our hashtag, PBH Equipped. While you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you click all. And when you have a chance, leave a comment on this video and give it a like. Feel free to share it amongst any of the Facebook groups or tech groups that you're part of. And again, if you have any questions whatsoever, call us, post about it, or email us. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.